All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Q&A video answer segment type of video leading up to the finale of The Walking Dead Season 6. In this one, we're going to start with talking about Maggie's situation and whether or not I think she will have a miscarriage. Okay, and I want to thank you guys for asking uh, this question, those of you who did. Um, I think it's a great one to discuss. Uh, the first part was uh, from uh, Mr. Turtle Gaming 80 and he says, uh, Hey, Trev, uh, Maggie's baby, I think, will die since Judith survived past her comic book uh, part. So I wanted to kind of add that in here. And also, uh, Lightly Salted said, I feel like Maggie cutting her hair is a bad sign for Glenn uh, or her baby, you know, like one or the other kind of deal. Um, so I, I thought this was really great because a uh, great topic of conversation because, of course, at the end of episode 15, she seems like she's in a lot of pain. It's a hard scene to watch. I've watched it a few times now. And when they show it, they use uh, one of those like screech noises, which is really loud and high pitch. And it's uh, it does a great job of sending home in the viewer the sense of severe pain to the point where you hear the ears ring and everything like that. Um, also, Lauren Cohen's acting is also great, and you just see the pain in her face and everything. Something's not right for sure. Now, she would be pretty early in her pregnancy, of course, and season six's premiere is kind of when we first find out uh, around that time range that, that she's pregnant. We start to see, uh, you know, uh, Glenn kind of, he's going to go out, he's going to ask her to kind of stay back at Alexandria during the, um, the beginning of season six. And um, so, so that's around the time when we know she was. Now, there was a bit of a time skip in that, but it has not chronologically been that long in Walking Dead time for her to start having any kind of uh, pain like that, I would say. I've kind of looked it up online, done some research. You know, you, you may have a little bit of pain, but to her, but the way they portray it in the episode seems like she is in some severe pain, which is not cool. So um, some people think that, Rick and uh, Abraham and the others could possibly be trying to take her to uh, the hilltop to see the doctor there, of course, to see what the hell's going on. And along the way, Rick could run into uh, Stephen Ogg's group. Uh, of course, uh, people uh, debating, arguing who it is still that's on the ground there. Uh, some people think it's Spencer, uh, which I think is it fits. Uh, it could be. Uh, some people think it's um, the guy who was running away from Rick and um, and Morgan, but he had on armor, and he doesn't seem to have on uh, body armor on the ground there, uh, which would lead us to believe he's probably from the, uh, the kingdom. Um, and then other possibility is it could be the guy who was chasing after Carol, but if he's one of the saviors, I don't think they would kind of keep him out there like that in front of them, and, and they, that group seemed to be. So it is pretty tough to say at this time. I think we'll have to wait to see for sure to see who it actually is. It almost looks like two different people from the time when you see it in the promo through the glass and then the time they actually get there and he's flipped over the other way. Uh, difficult, difficult to call for sure. But regardless, um, I like the theory that they could be bringing Maggie there and that could be why they're, uh, you know, they're, they've headed out and they've left. Uh, it makes a lot of sense because she's extremely important to the group. And... Um, you know, that's a, that's a very scary situation because if something happens to the baby internally and she has a miscarriage, that kind of thing, now that they do not have a doctor, they do not have any means of surgery or anything like that, I mean, it would probably be very dangerous for them to attempt anything like that. If she was to have a miscarriage, that kind of deal, you know, it could be uh, really bad for her as well, too. You know, couldn't, couldn't she die or, or get some kind of, uh, like, if they don't get it out or something, you know, that that's, that's a tough... Oh, man, I don't even know all the details of how that could go. But if, if she did and it died, you know, how would it affect her and her health and everything? And, and would it kill her? Because, you know, having something is dead inside you, obviously. Uh, in a zombie apocalypse, <laughs> these things, um, you know, become a lot more complicated when you don't have, you know, modern-day technology and modern-day uh, people in those professions to take care. So I like the theory. I think it makes a lot of sense that they would be bringing her there. So long-term, do I think she's going to have the baby, or do I think that Mr. Uh, uh, Turtle Gaming has a point here, which is that Judith is still alive, so uh, Maggie doesn't necessarily need to have her baby in the TV series version? 
Well, it would be a nice twist to not have her have a baby uh, Herschel. Uh, I, I tend to call, I, I, it's kind of a nickname. I, I like to call baby Glenn. I have a cover over there. Um, just because it looks exactly like Glenn. <laughs> That's why I call it that. It's not its actual name. Its actual name is, is they name it Herschel in the comic book series. TV series version could be totally different. And yeah, maybe in the TV series she will have a, a, a miscarriage. I tend to think it's probably more of just a scare and kind of a plot device to get them to go out. Plus, she has suffered some trauma already, right? So she you saw bruises and stuff when she's having a, uh, a shower with Glenn there. So, so I would probably think I'm gonna side. I'm gonna. You know, lean more towards no with regards to this question that she probably won't. It'll probably work out okay. But for sake of the story, to add to the drama and everything and, and the craziness of the finale, to get those characters out of Alexandria, I think it makes sense that they would do that and they would uh, use that as, uh, as a plot uh, device for the finale for sure. Um, so my simple answer is no, I don't think she will. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an add to, uh, to, to make the finale even better, which it, which it should be. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Write your comments below on, on what you think about uh, Maggie's situation. Do you think they would have her have a miscarriage in, in the TV series version or how that would go down? And if she did, would she, would she be okay if there was no doctor there? Would she have to have surgery done to remove it or something? Or what, just what would happen? Maybe this early on it might be okay because it hasn't totally, you know, uh, started to form that much yet i'd have to look at the time frames but i think it's only been like maybe a month or something like that maybe not even uh in the tv series since she was originally uh you know a month or something something like that it's pretty pretty early still you know um next one is from zach bayer he says uh this is a comedy. He says, Negan, who wants to meet Lucille? And then he says, Abraham, who's Lucille? <laughs> and Negan says, you're about to find out. So I like. I thought that was a good. I thought that was a good comment and uh, pretty funny. So I decided to add it in there. Nice one, Zach. That was good. Uh, I, I could definitely see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Next one's from D-Man. He says, uh, Chandler Riggs said, no more fake out deaths this season or any season. Is Daryl actually dead? Question mark. No, he'll be all right, uh, according to Dwight. Uh, watch the clip a few more times now. And it's not almost like he it's almost like he doesn't even shoot him in the shoulder. Daryl turns, and it's like he shoots him right in the chest. And I was like, holy shit. You know, in reality, if you shot someone point blank in the chest, like right there, oof. Yeah, they would probably die. But this is TV show logic, so maybe even though the angle would have been like right in the right pectoral, I would say, they'll probably use TV show logic and go shoulder or go arm or something. Something like that, right? I mean, it's it's TV show logic. So we've had issues with that before where we looked at the angle and uh, the angle doesn't match. It doesn't make sense. Uh, in Ernest Dickerson's um, uh, episode, uh, Coda, the mid-season finale of season five which I think is the last episode he directed, uh, which I don't know why he's not doing it anymore because <laughs> he does a good job. And it was not the end of the world. I hope he didn't get pissed off and we were all like, oh, my God, the angle doesn't make sense. And he's probably like, fuck these Walking Dead fans. Piss me off. <laughs> I'm down. I'm out. No more episodes for me. Fine. You don't want me to direct anymore. And he's like the best director they have. And he's not. I don't know. I'd have to look into why he hasn't been back for a while. Next one's from... Um, uh, Seamus's mom. <laughs> he says, give it a trip. Do you think that Daryl could end up being the new leader of the Saviors after the war against Negan instead of Dwight? So, so Dwight and Daryl's position and which of them is, I feel like, I feel like one of them has to win. The other one does have to die one way or another. If, if Dwight just hurts Daryl really badly here, which obviously he has, um, and Daryl survives this season, I would think that Daryl has to get revenge on Dwight for that. He has to get revenge one way or another. We can't, as viewers, see that continue and have Daryl not get revenge on Dwight. I mean, after what he's done to him. That is brutal. So, like, he talks about all the things that, uh, that Dwight did to him before, and now he's also shot him, to add to that list. <laughs> and captured him again. So... Dwight is a badass mf -er, dude. He's he's definitely not somebody that uh, I think would beat Daryl in a fist fight. But um, man, he's he's tricky, and that's when it comes to you know firearms and that. That's uh, you know it doesn't really matter how how big you are or how strong you are or anything like that. It kind of depends on who who's quicker on the draw first, who's get who's better at the tactics first. And it seems so far that uh, Dwight's been able to keep a cooler head and kind of outthink Daryl. As, as much as I hate it, because I, I love Daryl and I, I hate Dwight right now. We're supposed to hate Dwight, which means he's doing his job. This is good. You know, we're supposed to not like him. So that's how you're supposed to. He's a good bad guy if you don't like him. So, um, yeah, it is, it is what it is. So <laughs> is that one. And we'll do like a couple more. Next one's from Michael Jacobs, and he says... Uh, 
So this is his theory. He says, uh, taking Maggie to the hilltop for medical treatment, Rick, Abraham, Eugene, Carl, Sasha, Aaron, Maggie, and then possibly back at Alexandria, we have Judith, Father Gabriel, Spencer, Tobin, Enid, Eric, Olivia out on their own. We have Morgan and Carol on the road somewhere, uh, may or may not even be seen. Tara and Heath um, kind of out there. Yeah, they they probably, I don't think we will see Tara or Heath this episode. I, I kind of doubt it. Maybe season seven. Um, unless they come, well, it is an extended episode, so it's possible Tara could come back and be like, where's Denise? <laughs> um, next, and then he says, uh, Jesus captured by, uh, or uh, Jesus may not be seen. Don't know where Jesus is right now. He may have gone back to the hilltop. And then um, captured by Dwight, we have Daryl, Rosita, Glenn, and Michonne. Uh, if the saviors arrive at Alexandria, while literally every one of the strong fighters are gone, they're screwed. Gabriel and Spencer are tough, but they, they'd be overpowered pretty quickly. Great insight from Michael Jacobs. He separated up the groups like that. And I like his idea for Maggie going to the hilltop for medical treatment. Makes sense. He's got a question mark because we don't know for sure. But that seems like a good theory, I think, is a good prediction. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you know, they right now are in bad shape. When they, when Dwight, I think Dwight almost won the whole thing for the Saviors already. By capturing Daryl, Rosita, Glenn, and Michonne, that's like checkmate pretty much right there. I mean, you know, if, if, if he brings them to Alexandria and Rick is there, let's say everybody was at Alexandria, but he had the four of them. That's Glenn, that's Michonne, you know, so you got Maggie, Rick, right, Glenn, Michonne, and uh, Daryl, of course, too, and then Rosita, Abraham. You know, you've you've got the ties to all of your lead, leader uh, characters in Alexandria. So they're prob you know, if they if, if Dwight brought them all up and had a gun to each one of their heads and forced Alexandria to surrender, unless Sasha was able to get a really good sniper shot on a few of them, it it seems pretty likely to me that um, the others may surrender there, uh, depending. So, man, crazy stuff. I can't wait to see how this all wraps up, man. I'm just so stoked for the. I've never been so excited for a uh, a finale or episode ever. Two more, uh, and then we'll call it there for today. King Phantom says, uh, "What do you think of Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Negan, and Lauren Cohen, Maggie playing Batman's parents in Batman v Superman?" I, it's so weird, man. That's all. That's all I can say. It's just so weird to see the two of them do that, man. But it's funny too, and that, that that's the thing, right? Jeffrey Dean Morgan is awesome guy right you know i even i even yeah, i'm a big fan of him before he's even in walking dead now that he's negan it's like man a couple of people i'd want to get autographs from before i die i think norman reed doesn't be one because i don't have autographs from any of them but i'd bring like maybe buy walking dead issue one and probably get it signed by like norman reedus of course uh, andrew lincoln jeffrey d morgan is going to be close to the top of that now because you know being able to play uh, negan and of course lo and cohen also uh one of the biggest characters in the show, and uh, you know, really funny to see to see them, uh, you know, them do do a couple role like that, considering where they're at in The Walking Dead. But of course, you know, they're they're actors, and uh, it's a story. And uh, I'm sure Jeffrey Dean Morgan is going to do an incredible job as Negan. It already seems like it from the promo. And I'm just uh, buzzing. And then last one for today will be from Chance K, and he says, "Hey Trev, do you think Morgan will be able to kill during the All Out War story arc? So that's probably like season eight. Or second half season seven uh, will probably be the start of it. I, man, I, I think I think he should be able to at least kill others when he needs to. Like Rick, like Rick kind of tells him sometimes you got to, you know. And and maybe Rick is a little bit too uh, trigger happy, and that's true. And Morgan can kind of bring him back a little bit. But I think Morgan also has to go the other way a little bit too, and understand that when it comes to war, you're gonna have to kill now. You know, it, it's it's a big problem if he can't. But at the same time, it might be okay in some circumstances because it is good to take to capture uh, members of uh, of the enemy in, in order to gain information. So you got Morgan building the cell and that kind of deal. So I guess in his own kind of way too, that could be useful too because then you could get information from whoever you capture, right? So that's that's not a bad thing too. Killing everybody right off the bat may not necessarily be the best way to go. If Rick had brought back the um, the uh, saviors person that they had captured before who said he was Negan instead of killing him if he'd have brought him back and let Daryl beat the snot out of him for a few days and question him they may have more information they may know you know some more things about the saviors how many members there are where they're at where their locations are you see so so in some ways Morgan they're both kind of right in some ways but Morgan is too extreme to the one way one way 
Rick might be a little bit too extreme to the other way, and hopefully they can they can come back to get a little bit in the middle, and uh, that's kind of the best place to be, I think. Um, and hopefully it doesn't affect her or affect him the way he's affected uh, Carol. Uh, I blame him for this. <laughs> I blame him for Carol. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's Q&A, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, write your uh, response to all these uh, questions, some great questions. And keep sending me yours for tomorrow for the next Q&A, of course. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Please thumb it up, guys. I appreciate every thumb up I get. Uh, also, subscribe if you're new. I appreciate all, all of you guys for subscribing. You guys are the best. Please continue to uh, stay subscribed to the channel, everybody, and, and new people. Yeah, you can go ahead and subscribe join the fun ask me questions you can uh, you know you can do that you can join in and uh, you know i'll add your questions and that kind of stuff if i get time as long as you're subscribed and part of uh, part of this great community so that's fine so uh share favorite and that's it for today i'll see you guys again tomorrow the next day as always just trev saying peace see you guys